On the last episode of Road Warrior, we took a crazy and cold Vespa ride, ate the world's best pizza, and visited with family we haven't seen in a long time. On this episode, we venture out once again on a very frigid Vespa ride to Narragansett Beach, Rhode Island. We also get to visit with my mentor and someone who's like my second father. We also get to deal with the struggles of living in an RV full time. Made it to Narragansett Beach. So we're gonna go from the leather jacket to the wetsuit. We're gonna jump in. <laughs> yes, sir. There's actually some little tiny waves. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. I love it. I've been here once before. Beautiful area, Rhode Island. It's Christmas on the beach in Rhode Island. We couldn't be in Delray Beach, so we are at Narragansett Beach. And we're gonna go to Newport. So it's the day after Christmas and trying to get some work done. We are in the uh, Mystic, Connecticut area and I ran to Walmart to get another space heater because it's cold, baby. Um, went to get a couple other things. I lost the micro SD card for the drone. Got the most incredible footage yesterday at Narragansett Beach in Rhode Island and was taking the card out of the drone on our couches and somehow it popped out and we have turned that thing upside down searched everywhere and can't find this thing it's the weirdest thing but um, had to buy a couple of uh, new SD cards get some coffee and some sugar and I'm um, trying to upload a video I've been trying to for the last two days in the campground Wi-Fi and also my hotspot are just they start, they get like 50%, and then they just fail. So, I have found a local business. Um, thank you, uh, realtor company, real estate company. I appreciate it because uh, there's no Starbucks in the area, and that's usually our go-to place. So, I'm across the street from Walmart getting some work done, uploading videos, and creating more. So. <laughs> <laughs> to be young again, Sean. <laughs> Enjoy your trip. Enjoy your health. And then give me a haircut when he finishes. <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want back to Sean. <laughs> yeah. When, 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 when you're done with your trip. <laughs> One thing I'm super grateful for in RV life is that I'm able to visit people, see things, 
do things that I never would be able to do if I had a full-time job working from one place, living in a single home. Visiting my friend Tom in Rhode Island is something that I've wanted to do for a long time, but I just haven't been able to. Lives are busy, schedules are hectic, and it's just not easy to pack up and go like it is when you're in an RV. This visit truly made my year. Visiting Tom and Sandy was so special. Tom is such an unbelievable guy who owned the largest real estate company in Rhode Island, built it up, very successful, and he taught me so many things and he's really like a second father. This is beautiful. Yeah. It is. It's gorgeous. Tom's been battling cancer for the last few years, and he truly is a fighter, and we could only hope to be as brave and as strong as Tom is. This is Warwick, Rhode Island. Just had an amazing time meeting with Tom, who is uh, and has been my mentor for my business career and his beautiful lady Sandy and uh, got to see the DeFelice real estate which was the largest real estate company in uh, Rhode Island at one point and we got to see their beautiful home both over the uh, the water here it's absolutely gorgeous little town so we're going to uh, the coffee place here I think it's called Main Street and uh, they also have alcohol and stuff too. This is such a cool little town. And uh, the water is right there. You can see the tops of sailboats. So really cool, beautiful town. So we're at Main Street Coffee, the recommendation by Tom and Sandy. My goodness, best white chocolate milk I've ever had. So coffee while we upload some videos. Get it, get it right. Mm -hmm. Beautiful, colorful town. Um, it's about 3:30. It looks a little dark because the sun goes down around here about 4:30. It's peach black. It's just so weird. So check this place out. Um, it's a dog bakery. Um, I don't think I'm gonna walk in, but um, it caught my attention. So um, and they also have a troll shop which I truly don't know what that means, um, but it's a cool name, so... Um... So we found a white elephant in the room. <laughs> I mean, and look at this sunset. How beautiful. That visit to Tom was truly an emotional one. Being able to see someone you haven't seen in many years just because life is so hectic is pretty sad. And being able to see them, especially after they've been through some of the roughest, toughest years of their lives, was truly, truly special. Living full-time in an RV has presented so many opportunities in such a short period of time. Now, we've had no lack of trials and errors, but the opportunities have far outweighed any of the problems that we've run into. I truly hope that if you're watching this video, that if you have a dream, you go after it. It may be full-time RV, it may be something completely un unrelated, but whatever it is, go after it. You won't be disappointed.
Ew. Thanks for joining us on an emotional episode of Road Warrior. Make sure to tune in to our next episode as we head to Vermont to visit some family and we get ourselves into a snowy situation.